going on, y'all? Hey, y'all. Back at it again. Y'all know who we are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, today we're talking about uh, leadership roles in the marriage. Um, definitely order. Or order, leadership, whatever, all that. But uh, it, it definitely has to be order for everything. Not even, not, not even just relationships or marriages or whatever. That, for anything to go right, uh, work smoothly, it has to be all. You have to have a head, an uh, exo, uh, backup, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Like military, everything has all. You know I'm saying you have, to, you have to have a certain order, like even God, you have to have an order to you know, plan a certain way, you have to do this and that. But definitely in marriage. Mainly in the household because yeah, you have to have. You, know what I'm you have you have to. The man has to be the head, you know. And it's not even. It's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying it has to be that way. That's the that's the order, the natural order. You know what I'm saying you can't have two heads. And unfortunately, we have a lot of. Situations, a lot of households with single parents. Well, especially with women, where the woman has to be the daddy, the mom, or everything. But that, that's 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 not how it's supposed to be. Men and women have attributes for certain situations. You know what I'm saying? We, we all know that women are naturally emotional creatures. We throw off the emotion. And men, we are logical. We we um, Keep the scene from going. Check it out. Understand it. Know, know how it's supposed to go. And that, that's that's the key to why our fathers have to be around because we have to teach each other. You know what I'm saying? We have to teach the men how to be men. And likewise, women have to teach daughters how to be women. You know what I'm saying? And that, that, that's that's the way that's the way it's supposed to go. By by children. Being brought up like that, knowing that already, it, it won't be out of order. It won't be a, a, a fork in the room later on in life. You know what I'm saying? When we have some some women want to be in control, and they don't trust their husbands to do that. You know, it, it, you know whether it be that they they the man the men they know how or, or not. It's just throughout you know these last couple of centuries or whatever. Women have been taught to to do things differently from where they're supposed to be. Decades, really, it hasn't decades. Been centuries. Mm-hmm. It's been a, since maybe the sixties, fifties. Yeah. But it's just you know, and we both saying that we have to know how to lead. You know what I'm saying? Just just be, taking responsibility. That that's the key. Make, taking responsibility. That's the main thing. Saying we can't once we become parents, mothers, husbands, and wives, we have responsibility now. We can't do the same things that we used to do when we were single or or this and that because the universe won't allow it. It's just things that it's it's just you can't put a wrong part on a a car and expect it to work. You know what I'm saying? You can't put you can't put gas in the oil thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna work. So, you know, along with having, especially when you have kids, you know what I'm saying, you, you, let me, matter of fact, marriage, you know, once you get married, something kick in, like, it's, it's nothing you can do about it, there's nothing. Something should kick in. But, <clears throat> I mean, really and truly, you, you, something kick in because now you expect certain things to happen. And mm-hmm. like whoever's serious about the marriage, hoping the both. The, whoever the most serious about the marriage, something kicks in, like, oh, something, you got to change. Mm-hmm. You can't be doing things the way they used to be. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's just how it is. That, that just goes to show that it's, it's bigger than what you think. Then when the kids come, you can't, you can't, one of y'all can't be doing the, the same thing that y'all used to be doing. You can't, you know, be do, do, doing this and not being not being cohesive because that that's putting giving all the burden or all the weight to one to, mm-hmm. to one person. 
say, say for instance, the man wants to want to continue doing the things he used to do out in the streets or whatever. Uh, not even, you know, not even y'all being one. Then that that causes confusion in the relationship, and confusion does not go for all. You know what I'm saying? It's the total opposite. So, you know, we just have we have, we have to make sure that we be able to take responsibility. You know what I'm saying? The three. Yeah, I have two kids, one on the way, and a wife. So that that's that's four lives laying the band. So, you know that 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 depend on me and a damn dog. Yeah, a puzzle, a crazy as hell, but they all depend on me. You know what I'm saying? Like vice versa for her. We all depend on her to do her part in, in you know, maintaining the household. And she does a hell of a job, I might add. But, Thanks. <laughs> you know, it, it, it just that that's just how it is. Mm -hmm. There is no way around it. You, you know, we have problems. I mean, we have problems, but that's how we get over, you know, maintain our problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We Just understand that we're standing Right, staying in order. We're understanding our responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> we human, we fall short every mm -hmm. now and then. But we, we grown. You know, mm -hmm. We take it upon ourselves to, to correct it, apologize, do what we need to do, and keep moving. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's a part of it. Right. You can't. You, like my wife brought up a situation that you get questions and all that about about, about you know, topics like this, you know, about us, about us in general. But you know, but <clears throat> we use other people as example too. Like you, you can't. But what's the uh, what happened with the lady about building the house? Oh goodness. <laughs> um. Well, to build on what he said, I'll get to that in a second, but to build on what he said, you have to understand order. You have to understand your place in the relationship. And that's a big problem in the black community, especially amongst sisters, because we don't want to be put in our place. We don't want to, we don't want to feel like we have a place, but when you go to work, you have a place, you are under your boss. So you have to be, you trust your boss to do what he needs to do to make sure that you still have a job tomorrow. So it's the same way at your house. It's even greater at your house because it's sacred. You have to put yourself in a position to where you trust your husband. You trust him to lead you and guide you and protect you. You trust him to do what he needs to do to keep you comfortable. And like he was just saying, people always ask us about how we are and how we're so happy and how we're so this and so that. And it's not even that we're so in love, <laughs> which we are, but sometimes we're not. Sometimes we don't even like each other. And it's, it's very short lived. But in those times, we remember there's an order here. A, it'd be out of order if I disrespect him. B, like he was just saying, no matter how we feel, we still have responsibilities. We have responsibilities to our children, to each other, to God, to our dog. We have responsibilities regardless because we're grown. And ladies, this is leading up to what he was just asking about. When you get married, and this is why I don't work. One, the, the main reason why I don't work because my job is to nurture, to bear the children, to take care of the house, to take care of him, to make sure everything is running smoothly, to make sure that he is comfortable and has everything he needs to provide for me and protect me. I can't do all that and go to work. I could, but I'd be very stressed out. Him and our children are our number, uh, my number one priority, and our house is number one priority. But we have to understand that our men are responsible for taking care of us. When a man says he wants you as his wife, what he should be saying, <laughs> what is, is right in marriage, is that I'm taking responsibility for you. I'm taking responsibility for your care, for your food, your clothing, your shelter, 
from now until forever. Any children that we have, I'm responsible for providing for them. And yes, there are times when we have to help, uh, when things are, are difficult and a woman may have to go out and work or do something extra to bring in some extra money. But by and large, he is responsible. And a lot of times women say, oh, I'm ready for a husband and I'm ready to be married and I want a black man this and a black man that and black kings this and black kings that. But we don't require them to be responsible. And today there was a post which, this, I mean, no, the sister just does not understand the dynamics of marriage yet. So I'm not bashing her or nothing. I'm just giving this as an example of the way a lot of women think because I used to think this way. She said, um, I'm ready for a husband. But I don't want to be one of those kind of wives to sit down and watch him build and then come and bring him a glass of water. I want to be a wife that picks up the hammer with him and, you know, gets my hands dirty and builds with him. Now, if y'all follow us on Instagram, on our page, or you see that we build together. But I am also a wife who knows that it is necessary <laughs> to sit down and hand him a glass of water sometimes. And most times it is necessary to do that. What we don't understand as women is that in order to build our men, it's not about building your ego or feeling like, oh, I'm a warrior for him and I'm this and that for him. And it, in order to build him up to be the man that he needs to be, you have to sit down sometimes. You have to sit down and allow him to mess up if he has to, make mistakes if he has to, but to build what he's trying to build for y'all. In our situation, he didn't have his dad to, to show him how to be a man. And when we got together, he always brought that up. I didn't have my dad, I don't know what to do, I don't know, but he saw that I trusted him. If you're in a situation with someone you can't trust to lead, even if even if they've never been given the blueprint to lead, it is naturally in a man, just like it's naturally in a woman when you go to barren children and you have a man, it's, it's in us to want to nurture them and cook for them and make sure that they're comfortable. Back up and, and be vulnerable to that nature. Embrace that nature and do what you have to do and understand that he, he has to embrace his nature too, which is to take care of you which is to build something substantial for y'all, which is to make sure that he's providing and protecting and taking care of the family. So when you're in order, you understand that sitting back and handing him a glass of water is just as important as being willing to get your hands dirty with him. Because it's one thing for a man to say, you know, my wife is out here in the field with me. That's a beautiful thing. But it's another thing for a man to build something and bring it back to you and say, look what I've done for you. And that's what he has to do as a husband, to feel like a man. So that's, that's when people ask us about our situation and how we are and, and being in love and being happy and all that, it's really that we understand order. And understanding that understanding my place as a woman allows him to love me better a lot of the the women that i see they have this whole list of things that they want a man to do and i want a man to love me like this and love me like this and do this for me and do that for me if you just be a woman and get in line as a woman you don't even have to ask for those things because it's naturally in him to give it to you of course, unless you're asking him to be one of your girlfriends, which is sit down and listen to you talk and listen to you vent and, and talk to you. and all. That's not for a man to do. If y'all well, communicate, right. it's man, wonderful. Man. If right. If there's some, something serious going on, and where a friend has to vent. Right. And I mean, it really don't take it, it don't hurt to take the time out of listening. Mm -hmm. You're talking about what Lisa doing at the job and all that. Right. Like, you're not going <laughs> to. Leave the job at the job. I don't listen to it. Straight up. And they just don't get, you know, don't even get mad because we probably, we thinking us, we thinking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's always, 
it's never a dull moment. You got a man that's doing right, you know that's taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. He always thinking about about something going on, something what to do next, what I have to do tomorrow, what I have to do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, and then the, the, the another thing too, all that's true. But for men, men, you you have to be willing to take responsibility. Right. It's just this not we're not pointing the finger at nobody. Yeah, it's not just the ladies. You know what I'm saying? You, we, 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 we need to step up. We need to put certain things to the side. Sacrifice. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Sacrifice is not done. You know what I'm saying? Right. But what I'm saying, right? what I'm saying is, and we talk about this all the time, if a woman knows what to require from a man, a man is going to step up. If you, It's just like... You always see the quotes, if you call a man a nigga, he gonna be a nigga. If you call him a queen, a, not a queen, if you call him a king, he's gonna rise up to the level of a king. And there was a time when he, it was, like I said in the beginning, he didn't know how to take responsibility. He didn't know how to build a family. But... For, for but right as far as a relationship he knew how to be a man on his own and, and help his elders and do all the things he needed to do in that aspect but he didn't know how to handle a woman and children and so I had to show him that this is what I expect from you if he wouldn't have if he didn't want to live up to that if he would have fought against it so hard that it was like I don't want to be with you I don't want to take care of it then I would have had to let him go. And ladies, that's a part of proving your partner. We see potential in men, but sometimes they don't want that. There's a lot of men out here who want to stay in the street, who want to be in a club. They want, they want the fun life. They don't want responsibility. They don't want to have nothing to do with you, nothing to do with your children. Don't try to force it. But know what to require. And require it before you give yourself to him. Require it before you go lay down, before you get pregnant, before you do any of that. Require for him to step up and take responsibility for you. Because what you bring to the table is sacred. Ladies, what you bring to the table is sacred. Your sexuality is sacred. The gift of creating life is sacred. Don't let a man just take advantage of that and take that for granted. You, When you understand that, you know to require more. And for me, it took me taking that for granted and having a baby that I wasn't planning to have and, and putting myself in a bad situation for me to understand. The next man that come along better know I'm not taking nothing less. And the next man who came along, when I knew who I was and what I was bringing to the table and what to require from a man, the next man that came along, which he had been there all the time already, but as we grew and as we built, he understood and I understood. So allow a man to take responsibility. Understand that it's up to you ladies to require this from our men. It's up to you. Don't give your stuff away for free. Don't. Whether they want to call it prostitution or whatever, you are worth more than a jump off or a, a child support check or whatever they have to offer. If it ain't a ring and a wedding, don't even have to be a wedding. Go to the justice of the peace. If it's not a marriage license and a marriage certificate, don't take nothing less. Require a man to take responsibility for you and anything he creates through you. And I promise you, a good man, a righteous man who wants to do right will step up to that, will appreciate you for that. So. <laughs> hey, come this way. We have. Come this way. The boys again. Y'all know how that go. <laughs> oh, we don't go nowhere without. No way. <laughs> when you see him, you see me. When you see me, you see him. When you see us, you see them. <laughs> that's how it that's goes. How I go. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and, and, and if I can throw some in there for the ladies, ladies, look, if you, you know what I'm saying, if you dealing with somebody, and if you, whatever you, whatever your expectations is for that person, make them, 
make them show show you. You know what I'm saying? Show me. Mm-hmm. Show me this before you even think about getting married and all that. Because once mm-hmm. you're married, it's it. Yep. You're in. You're in there like swimwear. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And we were talking the day, like, look, if you want a man to turn water to wine, that's what you expect out of it. Make make sure. We uh, was just saying that. Wine y'all use for y'all wedding is he made. <laughs> right. Because right. straight up. Right. And, and prove me. Show me. Right. Men like wine. And you know, I know men, we don't care. And that's why women, y'all have to prove us because mm-hmm. men, I, you know, not even the, this is, this is, this is, this is our problems we have. And so we can't be, we can't not address it. Men will stick their penis anywhere if they don't have no stand. If, if you not, I'm going to tell you, some men that crazy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You should value your penis like a uh, brother Lennon Arm. Shout out to Lennon Arm. You know what I'm hey y'all. <laughs> he he mentioned that a men, men should value it themselves. Value your penis. Don't don't go. You know what I'm saying? Smash it in and everything you see because it's bad out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. They got diseases and all kinds. They got a disease. It's so bad now. I put them all together. Pergina <laughs> syphilitis. <laughs> Vergina syphilitia is everything. So stop. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem, fix yourself. Go get your go get your a woman to your standards. Or if, if you if you feel that somebody that woman got a certain standards for you, if you feel any of that bad, rise up. Rise up. Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's no way. Man, look, why why would you not want to ride get higher? You know what I'm saying? Make yourself better. But it's just the society we live in, dude. Throughout history, that's a whole nother, uh, a whole another video there. But the history of it. But we have a society where men are looked down upon if they don't have several women or mm-hmm. uh, multiple partners and all that. And it's a shame because it's not supposed to be like that. Mm-hmm. Transferring energies, man. That's why we crazy out here. <laughs> you know but that's part of it, man. Take we take care of these babies, man. Take care of these babies. Do what you got to do for that woman, man. Why is she taking care of your baby? Women, take care of the baby so that, <laughs> that man can do what he yeah. got to do. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, work on it. You know what I'm saying? We're not pointing fingers, but we're pointing the finger. You know what I'm saying? Because it has to be addressed. You know, we we, 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 we young, I know, but if you take it from I, I feel as though that's a good example. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it feel good. You know what I'm saying? Look good. We gotta, we gotta keep it balanced, man. We gotta do this, especially, man. We gotta do this. Don't <laughs> so, throw the dirt. They, you get in your hair. They expect every time everybody see a black couple or a black family, but they don't expect us to be home. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they expect us to be with their foodie. Dysfunctional yes. fussing. We gotta change that, and when we change that, everything else will uh, get better. Yes, we fuss Business, about whatever, all that. Fuss about finance and all that, but once you get that order, you'll you everybody be established. Everybody knows. Look, my wife handled the finance, but she handled everything. I provided, I, I gave it, she handled. Right. You know and, what I'm saying? Yeah. All that. And that's a problem that women have as far as not wanting to stop working and let him make all the money because oh I don't want him to control all the money and I don't want him to tell me what I can and can't do. Well, in an order situation, ladies, you have to be willing to be told what to do, first of all, because his job is to protect you. So you have to be willing to listen when you're told what to do because he's trying to make sure that he can always protect you. If I was out in a club all the time, he could not protect me because we're not always together. And not to say that you always have to be together, but you should always be in a situation where you're out of harm's way. So. Humble down and listen to your man. That's another part of proving your partner. Be with someone that you feel comfortable listening to and respecting. Because an obedient woman, a silent woman who is not nagging you and fussing back at everything, that's a woman you can bring your check home to. And know that, no, I don't have to control all the money. I don't have to tell her what she can and can't do with the money. And this, that, and the third. Because I know that she is a good steward over the money. 
Read Proverbs 31, ladies. But yeah, read Proverbs 31, ladies. We are supposed to be the ones who handle the finances. This bird is hating. <laughs> We ain't tripping, that's me. <laughs> we ain't tripping. <laughs> Bird, you better go find me. But we come to the park because it's so pretty out here. But either way, read Proverbs 31. Whether you into the Bible or whatever, Proverbs 31 is a perfect blueprint for being a wife and for being a mother. People, you know, that I see him throwing little sideways remarks. Oh, he can't be that happy. And men who, who show that they're that happy are usually cheating and all this other stuff. Yeah, Look, yeah, <laughs> you can't have a man that's this happy. You can, as a woman, be this happy with your family and with your man. It's not difficult. You just have to be willing to change some things. You have to be willing to let go of the strong, independent, aggressive, all that cussing people out i know it feel good it feels so good to give somebody a piece of your mind trust me i didn't gave several i didn't gave whole pies out so i already know yeah, but one thing we're gonna run across that crazy man. right what's going on man? Hi. It's, uh, you know uh, you see that basket right there what yeah basket? would y'all mind just for a second the who this well, basket here. Well, well basket none of these off. other baskets work. Yeah, I don't want to. Well, well give, us a, give us a few minutes. We'll, we'll be out too many. I mean, I, so I hate to ask. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Y'all have a good time. Just give us a few minutes. Right? So cute. Uh, what are we about? Uh, Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. But, uh, you see, you see, like, I could have like, gave like, you uh, a piece. So, yeah, yeah. One day, Woo! you're going to run across that crazy motherfucker that's not easy to cuss out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, that, that he, he almost got it. But anyway, but, but uh, yeah, we all fucked up now. Because <laughs> the nerve. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, humble yourself. Humble. Yes. <laughs> Humble yourself. It, it, it'll be all right. He has it, taught me so. that in, in these years. He has taught me that for real. But, uh, <laughs> and they don't get up and read. But, uh. I can. Yeah, it's all good. We still here. Yeah, so. But, uh. <clears throat> just humble yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, Especially to your man. Right. And then she. No, we 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 can't function like I said already. We we think we thinking all day and look, look, let's kill that. Hey, yeah, oh, I'm here. I'm good. <laughs> we 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 clockwork thinking. We trying to figure it out. We trying to you know what I'm saying. Keep keep the engine flowing. And then coming with that extra shit, it ain't it ain't too. You know what I'm saying? It don't it don't mix right. You know what I'm saying? So, it's all good. Everything will be all right. Just, just make sure that all is intact. Keep balance in your household. Men, take responsibility. Do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Need her needs. Look, meet them. You know what I'm saying? And his needs, meet them. Straight up. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you got? Nah, nah. There will be a part two to this. Y'all yeah, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a part two because we had a lot. <laughs> this just killed the whole vibe. We street. had a lot, yeah. but uh, it's all good. We just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. Yeah. And yeah, um, they, they ganging up on us. So we go, we go, we go, go ahead and talk. Look at that face. I but, will sit here and meditate on this screen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But look, we bought all that. You know what I'm saying? And so, part one. Be peace. Be peace. <laughs> right. Part one says be inspired. We'll be be great we'll and be, be inspired. We'll be back. <laughs>
leaving the scene of the crime. <laughs> and Hubs is still appalled. Man. <laughs> I got nothing. He got nothing. The audacity. <laughs> I don't know if y'all could hear him on the camera, but he was like, y'all didn't want to move. Now, usually when somebody is sitting in front of a camera being shot, videotaping or whatever, that's the spot you picked, for one. Two, the video <laughs> is on. <laughs> so I'm supposed to get up and stop the video because you want to throw some damn frisbees in a basket? That, that's that. Y'all probably didn't hear all that, but. Yeah, it, 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 it was a tender situation, bro. That's why I left. Because he's the peacekeeper. No, 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 in not the situation. Even the whole vibe, child, I done lost my thought and everything. The yeah. whole vibe changed. So I just gonna get in another location. Or right. Videotape it at another time, but that's 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 what I'm talking about. That's a prime example of what y'all gotta do. When, yes. When it hit, when something happens, get your ass up and move. But go, you know, to keep to keep peace. If it's on, if it's on your tongue. Go somewhere and speak to the wall or something so you don't get each other mad. You know? Right. You know, keeping your peace, keep being humble. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was a test for us. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lifestyle, y'all. People, you you get, once you, once you say you want to live a certain way, you will be tested. Yes. Things will come the way you have to, you have to prove, all right, look, I'm going to see if they serious about changing their life or being humble or whatever. That was a little test for us. Yep. Y'all see how I was just saying. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I'm not ashamed to say that I have changed. It's still some parts of me that want to give people a piece of my mind. I wanted to snatch him. <laughs> but, <laughs> first of all, that's not my place. Second of all, you're 4'11". Second, I'm 4'11". <laughs> right. Okay. And t today and third of all, today is a beautiful day. I don't want <laughs> and it's to a beautiful jail. day, right? So, <laughs> you know, it, it's a lifestyle. If you gotta change everything about yourself, be ready to change that. If you're not ready to change, if you wanna say, "Oh, I'm me, and I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be," and well, be learn to embrace your circumstances. Learn to embrace the results that you're getting because they're not gonna change until you change. Now you ain't gotta be. And this ain't even a continuation. We just wanted to share. Yeah, we just riding, <laughs> riding and sharing. It's funny, though, really. It's funny. It is. I was in tears. Okay, I was crying, laughing, and we. It took us a minute to get up. They had we left. By the time, <laughs> they had left and continued their game somewhere else. By the time we got up, because I just couldn't bring myself. To after 400 years <laughs> of being asked to move, I could not bring, bring myself. I feel like one of my ancestors planted that tree we were sitting under, okay? Because it's at least 500 years old. It's a huge oak tree. It would have been a disgrace to my ancestors <laughs> to get up. When I'm trying to help our people build so that he could throw a frisbee into a basket that they put there five years ago. Okay. So. <laughs> and they had like 1,900 other baskets. And there were so many other baskets. If y'all heard me, I was like, so none of these other baskets going to work? And I don't mean to be twirling of the neck and all that, but you, you, you just got to go there sometimes. Man, it is, it is. <laughs> hey, we doing these videos, but look. <laughs> We ain't no motherfucking chumps, neither. We're not. We just peaceful. Well, yes, I can say we now. We're peaceful people. It, I'm not about the... It, you got to mess with my kids, mess with my husband or something for me to really... Or, or mess with me for me to really get out of pocket. I'm, I'm not about the fight and, and go off and holler and scream and fuss. First of all, you're not getting that much of my energy, boo-boo. Secondly, <laughs> it's not that serious. It's it's serious today is too, <laughs> too beautiful of a day to let you mess it up. That's why we laughing about it now. I was upset for a second, but it's funny now. And ladies, do that too. Shit, if you get laugh do, about it. Do a video. <laughs> right, do I'll a take video. A and shit, do a video. <laughs> do a little small video somewhere where he can't hear you. <laughs> and 
and be like, you know what I'm <laughs> but don't embarrass your system. man, though. Don't embarrass him. Don't post it if it's that bad. Get it out your system. Go write in your even, diary. Not even video. Write in your diary. Just go scream, go scream at the wall or something. Y'all something. here in New Orleans? That's how it's going down. We in the French Quarter, riding around. Cubs is tired, as you, as you can see. See, I didn't know you had me on camera. <laughs> And they know you by now. Yeah, I ain't tripping. And that's Jay's playing with his Legos in the back seat. Say hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> Say hi, Zay. Hi, Zay. <laughs> he said hi, Zay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's nice out. We're enjoying the day as much as possible. We're turning everything, and that's another thing. Them little things that get on your nerves and make you want to slap somebody, turn it into a laugh. I was crying laughing, y'all. I mean, in tears. And that's why they left, because they saw we was laughing at, the, at them. But um, turn it into a laugh. Life is too long and too short. Keep it positive. Too many Indians, not enough chiefs. No, it's too many chiefs, not enough Indians. But yeah, the city is beautiful. You can't really see it yeah, out of the window. Like right, like that. Did God give you a bumper when He made you? Cause He didn't give me yeah. a bumper. I can't just walk in front of cars. They just walk in front of the car like. If you from New Orleans, you know just what I'm talking about, driving through the French quarters. They will just shoot out in front of your car and get mad when you hit them. <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't give a fuck, but I get mad if I get hit too, but still, you could have avoided it. The lady on the bike, though. That ain't going on camera. <laughs> that ain't going that's, that's confidential. Just, <laughs> okay. Just put two and two together, by the way. Lady on right. the bike. We just been talking about getting hit. That's it. That's all I'm giving. That I, that was before me. I don't know. I can't tell y'all the story. So yeah. So yeah. That's it. <laughs> uh, if 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 if, if, if Smith, if, if Mr. Smith watching this, you know. <laughs> yeah, his best friend, God the other Mr. Day, Smith. God rest the day. My cousin was with me. <laughs> he know, but you'll never get it from him. <laughs> right. But uh, yeah, a woman on a bike dealing with my car mm. wasn't pretty. But uh.